Howdy there, Wes here, back with another beer review. Uh, okay, tonight's beer we have one of the Harpoon Brewery's 100 Barrel Series. Uh, they have a series of beers that they do just one brew, 100 barrels, and that's it. And this is the number 22. This is the Steve Stewart's Firth of Fourth Ale. It's a Scotch Ale. And... Um, it's 5.4% uh, alcohol by volume, and it is uh, 28 IBUs. And to give you a little bit of a history behind this particular beer, uh, it says the story of Harpoon Steve Stewart first, first of Fourth Ale began at Harpoon a decade ago. Back in 1998, a young Scottish brewer named Steve Stewart crossed the Big Pond and came to Harpoon Boston as part of a brewery intern exchange program. Steve apprenticed at Harpoon for a couple of months and then took his newfound appreciation of American craft beer back to his full-time brewing job at a large Irish brewery. After some time, Steve decided to return to his birthplace, Scotland, and open his own microbrewery. Over the years, Steve kept in touch with the brewers at Harpoon, filling them in on his brewing progress. In April of 2007, when Harpoon staff took their annual employee anniversary trip, they paid a special visit to Steve's microbrewery in Edinburgh, Scotland. Between toasting pints of Steve, Steve's award-winning cask ales, the Harpoon Brewers invited Steve to guest brew a 100 Barrel Series beer. He accepted with delight. For several months, Steve and our brewers collaborated on the recipe, an American twist on a traditional Scottish ale. So, um, go ahead and uh, get into this. Uh, if you're interested in trying some of these uh, 100 Barrel Series, they're actually up to number 30 right now, which is a uh, the Island Creek Oyster Stout. And then uh, the next thing up, number 31, is going to be a single hop ESB. So this is a 22-ounce bomber. has a cap that I'm not familiar with. It's a harpoon cap. It's sort of gold and black with a big H on the top. Pretty nice. Under the foil cap it had on it. I'm drinking this out of a standard pub, cup, pub glass. color is very, very dark brown. Uh, it does appear to be filtered. It's, not, it's very clear. Nice dark brown. Light tan. A head with very small bubbles. Very nice pillowy head. Aroma is a sweet, malty aroma. Go ahead and give this a taste. Ooh. Mm. It's tasty. Beer has a, a medium body to it. Very nice uh, malt backbone to this. <clears throat> you know, a little bit, a little bit roasty, or more, uh, I guess, toasty. I would say. Like, uh, it's got a. It's a little more bitter than you would typically find a Scotch ale. Like I said, it's an American take on a Scotch ale, so it's <clears throat> it's going to tend to be a little more hoppy. But it's not it's not you know it's not an IPA hoppy. It's not that kind of hoppy. It's just it's got a it's it, there's enough hops there to let you know that there's hops there. I mean, it's not it's not overwhelming the malts. You know it's a, it's a Scotch ale, so it's all about the malts, and it's a very nice tasting beer. So I don't have 
much more else to say about this particular beer. You're, uh, you're probably not going to be able to find it because it was only available from February through May of 2008. So... It's a good beer. I suggest you try out some of the other Harpoon series, 100 barrel series beers and see if you like them. I, I really do like Harpoon as a brewery. They make the what I think is the best all-around IPA. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's sort of my go-to IPA. It's fairly easy to find, and I really like I really like how it tastes. Um, I guess since they're an East Coast brewery and I'm on the East Coast, it might be why it's easier for me to find around here. Um, typically, the only uh, easy to find West Coast IPAs we get around here is Sierra Nevada. Even that is not always easy to find. But Harpoon is pretty standard, for, fairly easy to find. Uh, it's available on tap a lot of places even, so... I'm quite happy with, with what I've had from them as a brewery. And the 100 Barrel Series is a neat idea and a chance to try something unique. So if you want to try something unique, maybe you want to try to find one of these 100 Barrel beers and give it a try yourself. And I'm going to go ahead and rank this... Uh, Session 22, Steve Stewart's Firth of Fourth Ale. I'm going to rank this a, a 9 out of 10. It's it's very, very good. I mean, it's, it's way above average, I would say. I'm enjoying drinking this. Uh, I'm not going to be able to find it again, of course, but definitely a worthwhile purchase. So, I'm Wes. I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. See you next time. Bye-bye.